Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to actually kind of ditch keyboard input for eh, two or three episodes maybe, uh, possibly the rest of this week, uh, but we're going to be moving into GUI animations. Now we've actually got an animation going on right here already, a little bit. It's switching colors a lot. And that's all fine and dandy, but I want to do a better animation. What if we moved the GUI? What if it just slid into view? Hmm? Well, that's what we're going to work on today. So let's just go into our story GUI, screen GUI, frame, and open the script. So right now it's doing the whole loop and changing the color, but let's just get rid of that. And the weight. We'll add it in in a second, or else it'll crash your entire game. Uh, which I don't know if I taught you guys, but if you don't have the weight, it takes up all of Roblox's resource time, and uh, it crashes your game. So you gotta have a weight in there. Um, <clears throat> but for right now, let's just move the GUI. So, script.parent, and let's just move it to the left, shall we? Script.parent. Uh, position equals script dot parent dot position plus udim to dot new. Uh, now the x is first, but remember we're only working with one second. Go into properties. We're only working with the x to move it over, and we're actually only working with the x offset because there's nothing in the pixel amount. So back in our script position uh, we'll go and just move it a hundredth of uh, um, offset every time like one percent of the screen every run through so 0 0.01 0, 0, 0. and when you add two you dim two positions it'll take each individual positions like the X offset X or X scale, X offset, Y scale, Y offset, and you'll add them all together individually, and that'll make for, and that makes it so we can just add them together or even subtract them. And actually, in this case, since we're going to be moving it to the left, uh, actually, from you guys, maybe I should move my hands that way. Anyway, we're moving it away uh, to the left. That's the only thing I can really say. I don't know which way I should point. To the left. That way. Uh, uh, we're going to need to subtract because as the X gets greater it moves more to the right and as the Y gets greater it moves further down only in two-dimensional space is this really true uh, it's much more difficult in three-dimensional space but uh, let's just test that oh one thing we need before I go and wreck our game a wait and it'll just wait the smallest amount of time that Roblox allows it to Alright, okay, there it goes. It goes scrolling off. The lag kind of ruined it a little bit, but it did scroll off, um, which if I can't really reset it, but what I can do is pause, go to our frame, uh, this properties window does not like to stay put. Oh, it's not in our story GUI, it's in our player, player GUI, player, player GUI, player, player GUI, screen GUI, frame. Whoa, 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 I thought, okay, fine, apparently it did not pause, so there was a new point, yeah, it's not even, you know what, we're just going to copy the screen GUI from here, delete this one, and paste it into their player GUI, and it's moving across, not smoothly necessarily, but it is moving just as the meteor falls right in front of me. Uh, okay, so, let me explain this again. So it's moving over so much 1% every time it goes through the loop. Okay, it's moving. But it wasn't smooth, right? Okay, let's make it a little smoother. And to do that, you'll just make it smaller. So I'm going to cut in half and move a uh, half of a percent of the screen every time. And now we can press F6 and it should go I'll probably have to delete it and copy it in again. Uh, so we can actually tell, but it should be kind of obvious that it's moving across. It's lagging right now. There we go. 
Okay, so it's moving across. It's still not super smooth, but part of the reason it's not super smooth, again, is apparently I'm a meteor magnet. But, like, that's also kind of because I am using a screen recording software, so you can't fault Roblox necessarily. Uh, you can, it's just screen recorders obviously drop the FPS of everything uh, as they work. But we're going to copy and paste our screen GUI into the player GUI. And now we can see it a little better. Yeah, I, let's put that tool away. There we go. Alright, let's go into the script and let's actually make it five times slower. Then copy it, delete this, and paste it back in. Again, it's not smooth, but it actually would be really, really smooth, really slow, but really, really smooth if you did this on a mediums, a good quality computer with good graphics and everything, and you weren't recording your screen. That would speed things up tremendously for you, all right? Okay, so it's going across pretty well. Almost there. Come on, you can do it. Just believe that you can do it, and you can do it. You're almost there. Yay! It finished. Alright, so there you have it. That's the beginning of GUI animations. We're going to move further into this as time goes on. But for the time being, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.